Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy, and I'm here to do your reading for love and relationships for September 1st through September 15th, 2017. Um, just want to say thank you all for subscribing and commenting and liking and sharing. I really appreciate it. So this is just a general reading. Um, if it does not resonate with you, please check your moon and rising signs. And if you would like a personal reading, you can contact me. I will leave my email and my um, Facebook page down in the description box. Okay, so today we're using the Romance Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. And also the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot deck. I've already um, tuned into your energy, Capricorn, and I've shuffled and I have your your cards laid out for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, At the bottom of the deck you have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So for a lot of you, I feel like um, you and your partner might have different beliefs. And this could be you might be different. Um, you might go to different churches or you might have been brought up a different way spiritually. Um, and that's okay. Um, for a lot of you... Even though you might not be um, worshiping or praying the same way, um, I feel like you do have the same morals and values, okay? Um, now we also have the bottom of the tarot deck. We have the Five of Wands. So coming into September, I feel like... Um, there's been a lot of conflict recently in your love life. Um, <clears throat> could be a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting, and I don't feel like this is anything major. I feel like it's been very petty things, little things that you've been arguing about or disagreeing about. It could have been, um, having to do with religious factors, um, And I'm feeling like for, for some of you, there's children involved, okay? So it could be like a, a whole family um, I don't want to say family feud, um, family dynamic, okay, where there could be arguments over the children. Or um, some of you may have children from another marriage. Or another partner and that can be causing some tension um, in your pre in your current relationship okay all right so underneath of that we have the king of cups in reverse and we have the knight of swords so you could be dealing with a water sign your partner could be a water sign. This would be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. For me, this is a this is a strong Pisces card, um, but it could be any one of those. This person is very emotional. Um, they're very they're very stuck in their ways, um, but they can be overly emotional at times. Um. This person could also have um, a drinking problem, a problem with alcohol. Um, but I do feel like they're very loving and nurturing. Um, they're just, they have a hard time expressing their emotions. Okay. The Knight of Swords for me... I don't really feel like this is your energy, Capricorn. I feel like, I almost want to say that this could be a third party situation where there's somebody interfering with your 
um, partnership. This could be a friend. This could be a um, someone that you're not aware of that your partner could be talking to. This person is younger. Could be an air sign. Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And... I don't think it's anything serious. I think this person um, is going to come in quickly and leave quickly, all right? But they might, might do some damage while they're around, okay? So just keep your eyes out, all right? Um, so yeah, that could be, could be a reason for the conflict is this person, whoever this is. So we're going to see what else the cards say for you. All right, Capricorn. The first card we have is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And clarifying that, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So... As I look at this card, I don't know if you can see it there. There's a lot going on in this card, all right? We have the dogs, we have the kids, we have the grandma there. We have the um, couple here, and it looks like they're trying to talk to each other, but there's so much going on around them. And we have those ten pentacles there. It looks like they've worked very hard to get where they're at. This card talks about stability, okay? So you might have a very stable home life, um, but there's a lot going on that gets in the way. I feel like there's a lack of intimacy in your relationship. Like you're, you're almost like roommates. Like you don't really take the time to spend with each other, um, or, or have the time to really talk to each other and, um, you know, have intimate moments together. Okay. So yeah, I feel I just feel like there's a lot going on in the in the um in the home. And you could be living with family, um, or there could be extended family around you, and that could be causing some um conflict as well. Okay. So Capricorn, next card we have is honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So some of you, you could have just gotten married. Perhaps you've moved to a new home, a new uh, neighborhood. So if that's the case, congratulations. You may be going on a honeymoon. Um, or for some of you, you could just be going on a holiday. Um, we do have the holiday coming up and you might just be taking a long weekend together or traveling somewhere and... Just enjoying each other. So that's great. Clarifying that, we have the Ace of Cups. So for the for me, the Ace of Cups is a new love. All right. So yeah, you could have just gotten married. Um, and if so, congratulations. This cup is overfilling with water there and you can see that and the water is emotions all right so you're just feeling very emotionally um, fill, full right now with your partner for some of you this could be a renewal of wedding vows you could be going away to do that um, now if you are single um, you could just be going on vacation traveling and you might meet somebody who could be a potential uh, love interest okay so keep your eyes open for that all right so the last card we have for you is healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents Okay, so some of you, I'm feeling, you may have come from a, your parents may have been divorced, um, you may have come from a home where there was a lot of conflict, and I feel like this is 
resurfacing in your relationship. You might have to um, you might have to let go of that past, okay? And for some of you that means forgiveness. That means letting go of whatever it was that um, happened in when you were a child, okay? Now, clarifying that card, we have the Nine of Cups. So this is a good card. This is the Wish card. And whatever it is that you're wishing for in your love life, that's going to come true, okay? So you're going to be able to overcome these past family issues. Um, the Nine of Cups is all about emotional fulfillment. And with this Ace of Cups, um, this is a brand new beginning, okay? So you may have had some conflict in your, in your relationship, but there's going to be a fresh start to it. Um, now, if you are single and you're out there, you know, looking, dating or looking for a partner, really set your intentions on what it is specifically you want, what it is that you're wishing for in a romantic partner. And um, if you put that energy out into the universe, it will come back to you. Okay. So there's your reading Capricorn. That's really great overall. Um, some lots of really good cards here. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if this resonated with you, please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear about your own personal situations. And if you'd like a private reading, please contact me for that as well. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys again in two weeks. Take care.